Hey guys, hey, it's the Consummate Outdoorsman here. Well, we had a little bit of a shakeup, and we were supposed to go to Boyne Highlands today and hit the park, but things happened and we didn't pay attention to the website and that their days are changed their fall hours last week. So they're open on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just be flexible. So today we are out here in Boyne Falls, the city of Boyne Falls, and we're at Avalanche Park. So, uh, myself and Nate the Great. Hey. Whoop. Yeah, he's putting a new uh, uh, bottle cage rack on his bike. And uh, we're gonna be rocking the new uh, full face helmet, the bell that I got. And we're gonna try some new stuff with the, the GoPro. We've got a, a fuzz cover there for it. Maybe cut down on some of the wind. But hey, we're gonna have a little fun. So what you gotta do, be flexible. And we'll catch you guys on the trail. Well, as you can see, we're headed up the hill, and today's a different day, and as we begin our climb, I was thinking about maintenance on my bike. And what happened was, this is a brand new bike-ish, and I had not taken the old packing grease or packing uh, shipping grease that's on the chain off, and I lubed it up today because I thought we were going to be doing some downhill stuff. And as you're going to see here in just a little bit, that the sand actually crept up on top of the chain and got tangled up in it. And what's going to happen here in a bit is my chain is going to get caught up and it's going to hang. It's going to start to grab. And what ends up happening is my whole, basically my whole day gets ruined because of a stupid idea on my part. So this trail has some pretty good little features on it. it. Looks like it's been very well maintained. And the first part as we're going up this hill has a couple little wooden bridges, this little cool U-turn, little berm, wooden, wooden berm is really neat. I've never rode anything like that before. Of course, I'm, like I said, a new rider. You <laughs> Good Burma. So as you're going to see here, this is the uh -oh. first time that this chain up. messes up as the day begins. Yeah, chain came off. So this is the first time that I've used the foam cover for the Hero 7 Black. What I'm finding is it does cut down on all the wind noise. However, it does make sure that you pick up your voice and my heavy, heavy breathing.
this is my first time seeing a skinny, true skinny, like this. And I'm gonna give her a try, but I don't know. I think I got enough speed, but, oh, nope, not enough right now, not enough balance. We'll try it again some other time. Let's see how my buddy Nate does here. Going up to it, coming in the same side, and he gets up, oh, nope, oh, he just jumps off. Oh well, hey, it's a mind game. So Nate the Great is gonna try it the other direction. Let's see if he can do it. There you go. There he goes up. Uh oh, yep. Oh, we're good. There you go. Now he's got it. Easy peasy. So if Nate can do it, I can do it. Let's go. Let's give it a try. And once yeah, again, and the chain goes time. down again. Holy biscuits are gravy. Once again, let me come to the top of this hill. Another long climb. Oh, fat boy here, the Clydesdale, if you will, has got to take another break. Finally, a little downhill. Goodness, nice burn up there we go. Go on down, you're doing good, Alan. Squirrel! Woohoo! That looks familiar. Yeah, so we finally Tree. found a little bit of a pretty good flowy part of this trail. And I got a little bit of speed up, better than what I've been doing in the past. I don't know what that <laughs> What I've been working on is learning to compress the bike and then when I find a feature that I can jump a little bit, moving my body in a straight forward up position so that I can get a little bit of air and you'll see that here in just a moment. See this feature coming up and so I compressed the bike and did a body push straight up and got a little bit of air. Not too bad, about a foot. So very happy with that success. So on this downhill section that it just ran, the chain held on. I wasn't doing any pedaling though. And as soon as I get onto this spot here, my chain goes ahead and says I had to start pedaling right. up that little grade. It dropped out on fix me. This.
So as you can see, we've got the bike turned upside down and I got my glove on and I'm trying to clean off some of the grease and I figured out that it is the shipping grease that was on there. I never did power wash it or chain clean it and put oil on it. This is a newbie mistake that I made on my part and Nate and I were trying to figure it out. We figured out how dirty it was, but this is something that you'll want to do when you first get it. Of course, most of you already know that, not me. It's just dirty. I can feel it. Okay, so we're gonna try to limp it back to the parking lot and hopefully we don't have any more incidents. Okay, so what I did is I went to a car wash and took my chain to the power washer and cleaned all that junk yeah. off and wiped it down good and checked the chain and there we go. We're back in business again. So we're back on the trail. Life is good. <laughs> 